Hey guys, you probably might be wondering, like, what happened to the other, you know, full gameplay Ares video that I posted. Because I posted one, started streaming, and then took it down. And the reason for that was that it had some audio issues, and I tried to fix them, and I couldn't fix them, and I just... I felt like it'd be better to just redo it. Um... And then I had no time and <laughs> never got around to it. So this video is so late, man. Like, the Tier 5 Aries skin has came out a while ago. But either way, I still want to show it off. Um, yeah, I just apologize about those audio issues. I, I usually have time to double check my videos to make sure that everything's okay. And I just realized, why is my smite not have sound? Um, just let me there we go. Alright, now we have sound. No god will question my power. Yeah, basically I usually have time to fully check my videos. I don't know why I can't hear the countdown, but that's weird. Usually I have time to double check my videos and make sure that everything's okay, but that day I was late to start streaming, so I was not. And I thought I everything was okay, but it had audio issues, so I will be all my bad. Nothing else matters. This is literally the matchup I had that this matchup is so difficult. I'm gonna try a different start, but this matchup is insanely difficult because he has a CC immune ult. I don't have a way to get out of his ult. He has no escape, so my chains don't counter him, and he has a bunch of sustain. All right. Beats is good, Aegis is okay. Bracer is okay. All right, well, this matchup's very, very difficult, but I'll give it my best go. Um, yeah, I just really want to make a video with the Tier 5 Aries skin, because this skin is really, really cool, man. I think it's the best Tier 5, in my opinion. That and that with Archon Thantos. You belong to me. All will bow. You belong I like leveling up the chains and then just focusing my opponent out. It's usually the best way to get uh, pressure, because you're not going to be able to clear the wave faster than your opponent. But if you focus your opponent, you can kind of out push him. Like I might get a first blood here. Yep. That's Ares damage, man. Yeah, a lot of people, when they first try Ares, they figure to level up the flames for the wave clear, but... It's not about the wave clear. You're never going to win in wave clear. You gotta, But you do have high single target damage to focus your opponent. And right now, like, I can't go for a red buff because red buff's literally harder to kill than Baron. But, um, I can, however, kill him, which is good. This matchup's still very hard, but the fact that we got first blood, you know, we might be able to snowball into a victory. Important things to notice about Ares is that his tower push is really, really bad. In order to actually win the game, you almost always need Polynomicon. And that's just for a tower push, and also so you can can take Bull Demon, maybe. Ooh, I got it. Nice. That's really good. Um, maybe I, he doesn't have bees right now. He doesn't have his ult either. If I get ult him right before my chains come out, comes up, he's dead. Yep, he's dead. There we go. I also have my chains on instant cast, which is really, really helpful, you know? Guys, we are snowballing like crazy right now. If we, if there's any chance of winning this matchup, we are in the perfect situation to do so. Okay, so I can't steal his blue buff, but I can't take mine. Also, the skin, if you didn't know, it evolves at level 6, 11, and... 16? And that is that they did that that way you can actually see the all animation at the first level, which is actually a really good idea. And you can't use a special emote until you're level 20, so that you don't always get to level 20 in duel. So who knows? I'll show it if we can. Oh, I really, really want to win this game, but he's look at this. I'm two kills ahead, and I'm the same level as him. He doesn't have beads, which is good, which means every time. I ult him, he has to counter ult. Although, I'm probably going to use my ult to counter ult him. That means that he will, uh, he'll never be able to ult me. Because he needs to save it for the beads. Which is good. Tactic, his ult's way better than mine. Mm, that, that ability's really good. 
All right. Uh, <laughs> he figured. Oof. He tried. Ooh, the snake is so strong. Purify the Ooh, I could have ulted him there, but I was in the tower, so it's like I would have taken a lot of damage. Or actually, my ult was down for a little bit. Now it's up. <laughs> my ult was on like a two second cooldown. I hate that. When your ability's almost off cooldown, it looks like it's up when it's not. If I actually wanted to ult there, I probably would have ended up baiting myself just because my ultimate was not up. And it looked like it was up. Alright, we are 3-0. and oh. um, I did rush Bancrofts. I do not always rush Bancrofts on Ares. The reason, reason I rushed it is because last time I tried going a... What was it? Straight into boots against Baron, and that did not work at all. I feel like the power spike from Bancroft's helps a little bit with this matchup. I don't know. But usually I go straight into defense or boots. The high single target damage is Ares' strength. Like, he has way more kill potential than a lot of gods, but he can't do much with it. Like, I'm 3-0, and how much damage has the tower taken? None. So it feels like I'm winning, but I'm not, I'm not winning by that much. Heal up just in case. He's probably gonna get anti heal too, which is gonna counter me. Can probably kill him here. Oh, whoops. Can probably kill him here if he pushes up just a tiny bit. Nope. Duh, I messed up. So there's an inconsistency with uh with Ares change chains, and I hate it. Is that sometimes if you throw out a chain and you die, sometimes the chain will stay on them, sometimes it won't. If the chain stayed on him there, it would have killed him. Because look how much damage he's doing every single tick. But it didn't, so rip. I think if you shoot it right as you die, and it hits them after you die, it stays. I'm not sure. But if it's already on them, it doesn't. Baron is such a strong god. Oh, he's tower sitting hard. I mean, what else is he supposed to do, right? Alright, should be dead. Mm, I don't want to ult him, but if I have to, I have to. Ooh. Don't want to ult him, but yep, look, I got him. I got ult him. Oh shoot, his ult is up. Oh no, I'm really in trouble. I didn't think his ult was up, man. Oh, those chains. The chains are so hard to hit, man. With When he has that movement speed from his two, the chains are really hard to hit, but at least I hit him. Okay, I don't think I can steal his blue buff, but I can take red buff. We finally have some... Some buff damage. Also, my autos are hitting surprisingly hard because of Bancroft's. Alright, let's back. This is... This is kind of nice that I can build into Pestilence and it gives me power. But, still. This is... Like, trust me, guys. If he comes back from this, it's... it's which is very possible, it's gonna suck. Like, I'm 4-1, and one, but I'm not very ahead right now because I can't take a lead as hard as other gods can. Like, most gods can go and steal his blue buff and stuff, and I can't because I don't have enough uh, buff clear. Also, one thing I should mention is for the chains... Oh, he just evolved, by the way. Oh, did I say level 12 last time? I'm not at level 11. But with the chains is that you want to hit the chain, then wait till the very end of it, then shoot the chain again because the chains do not stack... I did not learn that until I was a diamond Ares. The chains do not stack at all. So you can you fire a chain, wait almost two seconds, and then you fire the next chain. You have to get a feel for it. But that's how you get the most damage. Chains do not stack. And I didn't know that for the longest time. I can actually kill him here. Maybe. Very nice. 
Very good. Very good. Ooh, how much damage can I get here? My, my Bancroft's passive is fully up. Okay, get out, get out, get out. That's good. I need to get a poly, like, now. Because we are we are ahead enough where we're actually pushing into the Phoenix. This We're not going to be this ahead for very long. I need to get poly Nomcon, like, now. I don't have any pen. I, like, I want Spirit Magus, right? But I, I need poly more right now. I need to, I need to get the Phoenix... Because that's the hardest part, getting the Phoenix. Taking Titan's not that bad. But taking taking Phoenix is very difficult. Um, I can actually get the tier 2 of this. Also, I'm a little bit tired right now because I got about 6 hours of sleep last night. Um, but either way, this video is going really good, so I'm ha happy. This matchup is extremely difficult. We got very lucky. I do want to point that out, okay? Um... So, Baron does not get countered by Ares at all. Even though I'm doing good. We just got a very lucky start. It's like he didn't even play that badly. It really just was luck. Sometimes that's all it is. Wow, he is a race car right now. He doesn't have beats yet either. Ooh, I could probably ult him here. Or maybe I don't need to. Dang it, man. I could have killed him, but it's like I probably would have died for it. Probably for the best then. Oh, there's two wave there's two minion waves? Alright. <clears throat> two minion waves. Right on. Okay, so we need to get our polynomicon pretty soon. We need we almost have enough gold. We might try and steal this from us. His ult is down. I can't just ult him for free free uh damage here. We'll probably do it once our chains come up the second time. Also, the auto attacks in between are extremely important. All right, he's dead. Look at this all animation. Oh, that's so good. Oh, killing somebody with that alt feels so good. Shoot from the hip, but there he's all. <laughs> killing someone with that alt animation is just very satisfying. If you guys can't afford this skin, go into jungle practice and just pull all the Odin bolt all the Odin bots towards you. Trust me. Alright, can you do that with limited skins? I don't know if you can go into jungle practice with limited skins. I think you can. Also, he's about to hit level 12, which means he gets beads, which means our fun starts to end. Uh-oh. Might as well run into it, because I have nothing out to do against it. If Here's the way I see it. If you have no way to get a Baron ult and you're going to get hit by it, just run into it. Because that, that means you're giving him less time for cooldowns. And also, uh, you take less damage in total. Because the slam damage is going to do slam damage no matter what. But the, the suck damage, is it, it might be more than you... Might, it adds up very quickly. So, I figure if you have nothing up and it's a bad situation, just run into it. Make it end early. And then hopefully he has he you get away with one hp or something you know whereas if you hold on to it you're just you're just letting yourself take more damage so was it a mistake to run into it yeah i died for it but it was the best thing i could do in a situation like that he has his beats though and he upgraded his beats i'm just getting to burn his beats right now okay, perfect so now that he has his beads, either I gotta try to burn his beads as much as I can, or uh, I can use my alt to cleanse his root, which would be very helpful sometimes. Or just use it for the damage. It does a good amount of damage. It's a good way to kill them. Like when they're about to get away and your cooldowns are, are still, you know, doing things. Ooh, I wanna take Boldyman, but I can't. I have to XP deny, to be honest. I don't XP deny very often, but it's like, I really want to win this. And he, I was three levels ahead, and now I'm only two levels ahead. I, I don't like XP deny. But if this, this guy's going to sit in his, his Phoenix that hard, then this is my only choice. Could have probably just there. Oh, 
my god. That did way more damage than I thought it would. You got both of my rugs. That's really bad. Very important to dodge a snake. Snake is like the strongest CC ever. My ult is up in 7 seconds. And his beats are down. So if I could ult him right now. Oh, this... I think he's dead. And I have my minion wave. Oh, this is so good. No! Use Bracer. Okay, good. Oh, and we all evolved too. Um, I should actually let the Phoenix focus me for a couple shots. Dang it, man. Did... No, I shouldn't have done that. I should have just killed the wave. Ah! Oh, the minion waves were in such frustrating points there. I should have been able to take Phoenix with my poly, but... I should have just pushed up the minion wave instead of trying to tank it for like two shots. I was, I should have, I needed to take Phoenix there. It's like when you're playing as Ares, when you get a kill and you have a chance to actually take an objective, you really have to take advantage of it because you don't get that opportunity often. Last item could be Divine Rune or Bulwark. It depends. If he builds Spirit of Mages, I think I'll get Bulwark or Genji's. Yeah, Genji's. If his last item is Obsidian, I will get Divine Rune. Oh, also sorry for not showing off the voice pack much. I forget to do that in duels, but I can show the, the last form a little bit. So, like, the last form is, like, Ares has no control anymore. The shield is... The shield is... In control now. Should probably counter it ulted there. Burn his beats. Ooh, he missed. Come on, man. Tower sitting is intense. I don't think I can take Bull Demon. <laughs> I really don't. I have, like, I have Polly, but I really don't think I can take it. I'm waiting for my two for Polly and Omicron. I mean, it's at half health. The only problem is if he comes over here, I'm screwed. Oh my god, is he not gonna come over here? No way. Yes! He, does, he has wards, but he hasn't placed them, so that's why I decided to go and try that. I don't know what item he's going for last, but so I'm going for Divine Rune, because I need damage right now to take that Phoenix. Alright, here's the plan. Push up wave. If he, like, if he tries to bait me, like, even if he has 1 HP and he's running this way, unless I know 1000% I can kill him, I'm going for Phoenix. Alright? That's the plan. Because right now we need to take Phoenix. If we don't take Phoenix off this Bull Demon, I think we lose the game. That's that's how dire it is. We're 8-2, and two, but if we don't take Phoenix right now, we lose the game. Because he is almost fully online, and without that Phoenix down... Because once a Phoenix is down once, when it respawns, it's not as tanky, so you can pretty much take it easier. That's really good. Ow. Trying to dodge his two. I uh, missed. I mean, I didn't dodge very well. Very good to dodge a one there because it lowers my attack speed. No! Oh my lord. I didn't take Phoenix. He did. How did he do so much damage? I wasn't able to take Phoenix, man. That's really bad. Okay, well. If we got the Phoenix low enough where two poly shots will kill it. So if we take red buff, could be good. Plus, I think his beads are down. I should have ulted him, man. All right. What? I thought I hit him. Oh, that would have been so good. Imagine if I chained him there and then ulted him through the wall. That would have been so good. That's what I thought I could do, but I guess I, my chain wasn't didn't go far enough. I have 500 power. That is not nearly as much as I need. Void Zone could have been good for last time as well. 
I, I just need some more anti heal. Dude, this guy is Phoenix hitting so hard. This guy's Phoenix hitting so incredibly hard. Like, what am I supposed to do? If I go in, he's just gonna ult me and then I die. Oh, I think I got him. No, I got his pizza. Wow, that does no damage. Backdoor protections, man. It's like, backdoor protections are a good thing, but it's like... It's why Phoenix Sitting is so strong. If you can clear the wave before the wave even goes in Phoenix. It gives... It's just... I have no... I have no chance to do anything. I'm almost level 20, so I can almost show off, show off the special emote. I hope I remember. Special emote basically lets you switch between the stances. But you have to stand still the entire time. So it's like... It's a lot of time down the drain. Dare I go for Bull Demon again? He's, his wards are placed. I just don't know where he placed them. Hopefully he placed them here and here. I don't know. Either way, his bees are down. So if he comes over here... My ult's ready in 30 seconds. Shoot, he's coming this way. Alright, we'll try and bait him. Well, he hit me with root, so that sucks. Where did all my health go? If this guy could stop Phoenix hitting, that'd be great! Am I dead? Oh, wow, I lost the game. Oh! 40 second respawn timer. We are 8 and 3. He is only 2 levels behind. I can't do anything. This is what. This is where Aries sucks so much, man. It's so frustrating because it's like, go for Bull Demon, right? But I can't go for Bull Demon because then he'll just poke me down because I can't take it fast enough or he'll steal it. It'd be cool if he didn't play so far back. I should have just XP denied him longer. But it's like XP denying is no fun. It's just, it's just, it's just boring. I lost the game. What did I say? If I don't didn't take the Phoenix there, I lost the game. Like I'm ahead right now, but I've played Ares like dozens and dozens and dozens of times in duel. I know when I've lost. I'm gonna stay in it because he might misplay. I'm going to stay in it because he might misplay. Like, I could get more defense, but it's not going to help that much. This red buff will help. Hey, maybe he won't. Maybe he'll actually play out of his Phoenix now. Or is that wishful thinking? He didn't take my Phoenix, at least. I guess it's not over yet. Once I lose my Phoenix, that's when it's like, ooh. Played this a that bunch of times. Whoops. I know when Baron has his win. Can you actually push up, man? This guy plays so passive. Nothing gets under my skin more than that. It's like, come on, man. like <laughs> here's my chance right literally get both 3k pots i had of gold so i have to get 6000 gold while he and no i have no idea i really don't have a chance there's just nothing i can really do at this point Wait, why is he backing up? Yo, why is he backing up? This is good, this is good. Oh my lord, we got it. 
Oh my god, I might be able to kill him. Oh, he messed up. Is this Bizan? I don't think they are. Alright, whatever. Okay, I just brace her just in case he chased and I could I could chain him. He messed up. What? Like, he had that. All he had to do was clear the wave. And he backed up into base. I don't know why he backed up into base. He had beads up. He had everything up. He was in zero danger. And by backing up into base, he let me take it. Because look how much damage my Polynomicon does to Phoenix, you know, if there's no backdoor protections. It does a lot. Why he messed up? That's why I stayed in this game, is for the chance that he might mess up. Ares can win, like, win-win against, like, some assassins. Like, Circa, Awilix, Fenrir, he can win-win against. But, um... Circa, not as much, but... And then other assassins he does pretty really well. And even some, like, hunters he does pretty good against. But mages are very difficult matchups for him. So, yeah. If we... We might actually get this. Because, like, now I can start poking down Titan. Oh, that's good. Wait, why did I walk into it? Okay, we're okay. Also, it seems like his ult isn't pulling me in as much as it should be. Oh, if I got to ult him there, would have been game. I need ult him right now. His beads and his ult is down. I need to get some chains, then ult him. Oh, he shot. Did I kill him? No, it didn't. Oh, if this titan hits me. Oh, I barely juked it. Mm, I almost got the win there. I don't know why he wasn't slowed that much. I hit, him, I hit my chains. If only my bracer was up. Alright, either way we get red buff here, which is good. I kind of want a 3k defense spot. I do have a really bad option as well that could work. Oh, his Phoenix is almost up. Don't tell me I just let his Phoenix come up. I was not looking at the timer at all. Oh, well, I mean, when it respawns, it's a lot less tankier. Plus, I have a fire minion wave, so it shouldn't be too bad. Also, let's pick this up. My one bad option I have is I could sell my boots for Voidstone and try to ignore him while going for Phoenix. Like, that could legit work. If this guy didn't tower sit so much, it'd be really cool. Ah. Yep, just got focused down. No, ho, ho. I thought with the poly shot I could kill him. I thought with the poly shot I could kill him. Why didn't I brace her, man? Even if I braced her, I would have died, but maybe I would have been able to kill him. Oh, this is... You know what? Let's see how much damage we lose if we do this. I had 500. Okay. At full health, I would have had 400 power. So I lose about 120 power-ish. I don't have... Mm, I lose a lot of damage by doing that. I lose a lot of damage. I kind of need it. Is he actually... He's not going to take my Phoenix. I'm surprised he hasn't taken my Phoenix yet. But now it's late game Baron because he's full build late against late game Ares. And I'm, doing, I'm doing my best, but you know, Baron is crazy busted. His Titan yields so much from that too. At least she's bad. <laughs> kind of bad, anyways. But it's not that hard to win with Baron. It's very easy. He's a very easy god. In duel, anyways. Come on, man. That root is so annoying to deal with. I literally have to chase him across a map, and then he goes into his base, and then it's all for nothing. 
He got my Phoenix to half health off that, too. Okay, I can get a 3k pot. I'm gonna get a power potion. Because, uh, we already have double defense now. Alright. How much does it increase it by 25%? This could be what I need. And I'm, if I get red buff here as well... Oh, he might get red buff. However, I might be able to kill him if he does. Can this guy stop being annoying? Can this guy stop? Oh my god, I just... I can't do anything! Lord, this guy sat in Phoenix all game, but can you blame him? It's like, it's all he could do, but still, it's so frustrating that there's zero counterplay against that. Like, I could go and take Bull Demon, but then he just kills me. If he actually knows what he's doing. I, it's like, I could try to focus a Phoenix, but then I just die. I legit thought we had that, man. Thought we did. Whoops. Oh, my, my headphones are having... Bought a, my headphones don't have a very long cord, so I bought a cord extender for them, and now my audio is not working very well. I hope it records well for you guys, though. It should, because it's just an audio connection. Either way, we're at the end of the game. <sighs> do Guys, do me a favor and don't play like this, Baron. I gotta fix this. Hang on. I pause. This guy, man. Oh shoot, well now I can't hear anything so I don't know when to fix it. That doesn't help very much. This cable, like it has to be plugged in perfectly. So it's kind of a waste of... Okay, there, I think I got it now. All right, well... Uh, like... He has to mess up really bad again in order for us to win. Kind of like this. Yes! He's dead for 46 seconds. That's a long time, but, you know, there's fire minions. I'm literally dying to fire minions. Dude, I needed bank. I need Bancrofts to deal with this. Oh, ho, ho, fire minions are Ares' weakness. He's dead for 46 seconds. I don't even know if I can get Phoenix off of it. Yeah. Oh my god, I'm not even gonna get Phoenix. Look on the bright side, his beads are down. Well, I had to use my bracer on literally minions. Am I even gonna get his Phoenix? Oh, I need that red buff. You know, I'm not gonna get it. Maybe I would have, but it's like. Oh, if red buff was down, because he took it! Yeah, there's no way I would have taken Phoenix, because that was a fiery wave. He was dead for 46 seconds, and I couldn't do anything. Oh, well. This game is 32 minutes long. What the heck, man? Honestly, I should just... It's like... <laughs> I didn't even realize this game was 32 minutes long. That is insane. This video is going to take forever to render and upload. Buffs up now. Oh, but he's right there. If he misses his three, I'm in a good spot. But then it's like he just runs away. Might be able to kill him here with the poly shot. Oh, wait. His beads are not. He didn't use his beads. That's right. He didn't use his beads in that last fight. He's going to take my... 
going to take red buff and my phoenix. Please don't focus me minions. Okay. At least he didn't get my phoenix, alright. I mean, he could backdoor it, so it's a good thing I have that ward. I'm gonna have to replace that upper ward I have because, uh, he might go for the backdoor. This game is so long that I can't do anything. I'm losing every fight now. We need a good ult here. Alright, now his beads are down. I forgot they used his beads last time. Time, but I didn't use them. No, 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 come on, man. I can't let him take this. Oh, I guess I have to let him. Baron is so busted. I can, at least I'll be able to afford to replace my 3k pot. Okay, we can kill him here. Maybe? No, why did he hit me with that? Come on, just come closer. Stop running away. No, that's game. Baron is so annoying. I am so incredibly frustrated now. But either way, I hope you guys learned something. I tried my best, man, but the matchup was already horrible. I just got really lucky. And that guy, Phoenix, sat so hard. He ran away at the sight of any and everything. And that's why I hate mages in duel right now. Every mage plays like that in duel, and it is so incredibly frustrating because it's like, all right, what's the counter to Phoenix sitting? You go for Bull Demon, right? But what's what do mages have? They have high damaging abilities that can steal Bull Demon, or they can just kill you from a safe distance, and they can just run away with their CC and their escapes. That it's just impossible to do anything. There is no counter, and that's what's frustrating me right now. My what I wish they would do. Is they would rep if I wish that for duel they would replace bull demon with some sort of objective that you would stand on and over time um, you would secure it and then it would disable the, the the phoenix that way you have to actually stand in it to contest it rather than just trying to steal it and um, but obviously it would have to take longer or something like that that's my idea that I thought would be kind of cool but I don't know. I just I just feel like there's no counter to Phoenix sitting right now if you are if your opponent is a high damaging mage. But GG guys, I tried my best.